Gentlemen, Nemesis has been spamming Yasuo mid. In the last four days, he's almost played 20 Yasuo games. So I did a little bit of research and I saw five days ago, he went up against P. Zhang, of course, the world's number one Yasuo. He has three 1300 LP accounts in Korean Challenger. Um, and that matchup five days ago, guys, Nemesis went up against him. And since then, Nemesis has started, th I think he's realized that Yasuo is completely broken. Or maybe he's just realized the potential if you play it like this P. Zhang. Um, and guys, we're going to break down the matchup today. Hope you enjoy it. On to the riff now, guys. This is P. Zhang's perspective. You can see the room page in the bottom left, guys. If you're not abusing this lethal tempo and Yasuo Yone right now, if you can play the champion, I don't know what you're doing. It's definitely going to get nerfed, guys. It's completely busted. Very hard to counter. So you got Lethal Tempo, and then the secondaries, you go for the Resolve Tree. He's running Teleport here. I mean, I don't know how... Like, you're not going to stuff this lane up. There's no way you're going to lose this lane. He's playing into Nemesis as Vigar, uh, who... He, like, I've done I've done several videos on Nemesis as Vigar by now with this Predator setup, and you'll see how Pizang plays it. Not running the Ignite, he runs the Teleport. It's going to help him to track Nemesis's roams into the side lanes. Terrific, right? Nemesis plays very far back. He's not going to allow P. Zhang to get the solo kill. He's going to get boots, Predator, and roam top, roam bot. If P. Zhang runs teleport, he can kind of match that. In your lower elo games, I still recommend guys go for a more aggressive summoner because you're probably not going to be using the teleport as well as these challenger players. No offense to you, um, but full offense. Your brains are not wide as well. You're not going to be able to use it to your advantage as often. I think that a, you know, eating night, exhaust, something like that, where you just click it. It's just going to be working better for you boys. Come on, I'm just trying to be honest. Hard shove the wave, get the ward over onto the Wraith camp. No. Checks the Wraiths, holds the ward. Knows the jungler did it because the Q didn't get the tornado stacking. Probably going to have to get a long way around. Okay. Q lands. Oh, yes. Holds his ward. Who's the enemy jungler? Did you guys see? Kind of scared on this level three if Nemesis was to run forward with a cage. And Pizang just perma shoving the wave. Gets the W here. Moves into the top side. You know the jungle is probably top side. He cleared his wraiths. Which means he most likely it was a bot side start. Moved through. There we go. It's a talent jungle. Disgusting champion. And beautiful tracking. If they secure this blue, you guys have no idea how large that is for the jungler. Waiting for it. Gets the flash out of the talent. I'm pretty sure that the Talon got the blue buff, unfortunately. But this is a lovely way to show you guys if there's no lane interaction, so like, oh, teleport coming out now from the enemy Jace top side. Waits for the Jace TP, love this. Has the E? Yes. Has the crab there as well? Oh my god, yes. Tornado lands. Just using that lethal. Flashes forward, gets the first blood. Kindred able to get the Vigar. And God, if you can get these double buffs, oh my God, that is exactly what you need. And this is a terrific early game to look at, okay? So, what's the laning matchup like? You're into a Vigar, who's literally never going to allow, like Nemesis is never going to allow P. Zang to get the autos. You're running Teleport, you're not running the Ignite. He perma shoves the lane, works with his jungler. This is so key for your lower elo players. Work with your junglers. That was a 2v2 with his Kindred from like, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> That was a 2v2 with the Kindred. And Nemesis had the wave shoved in. He wasn't able to be there to start with. He made his way over. He was late. Gets punished for it, okay? We pick up the Zerka Greaves. Pick up the Dagger. Oh, that is a beautiful buy. And we still have the Teleport here. Teleport's in. Contest the Crab with the Jungler. Mid lane is a 2v2. It is a never a 1v1. You cannot think about this lane as a 1v1. Honestly, it's a 3v3. Because it's usually... Your support on the roams is included. It's you, your Jungler, and your support. And if you're just thinking about your matchup 1v1 specifically, and you're not thinking about support roams, what angle the support's going to come from, where the jungle's pathing towards, you're not playing mid lane correctly. You're playing it with goddamn bloody blinkers on, and you're going to get someone come in and flank you from the side. Like, let's just be a little bit smart about it. Huge lead now. Aged up. Oh, we have win wall, remember? Win wall. We play towards it. We're going to try and use the wave to get out. Oh, close. Too aggressive there, no flash. And that's why Vigar is very good into the Yasuo because you just cage him in. If he has no cleanse, has no QSS, you're screwed. Pizang, late game, definitely going to be going for that Merc Scimitar to get that cleanse off. Get the fuck out of that cage. You can see Nemesis keeping up with CS. He's a very, very good weak side laner. 
knows how to stay within it, doesn't take unnecessary risks. Now, I'm not sure how much longer Nemesis is staying in Korea. I'm guessing, like, I wonder if he goes home for Christmas. I know LS is probably going to be doing a little boot camp with C9, and then I think LS is making his way over to America afterwards, so... I don't know if Nemesis is staying at LS's place or like what the goal is, so. As he gets a roam, beautiful. That's smart by Nemesis. You can't make anything work in the mid lane. Go for the perma roam with the Predator boots. And if he has, doesn't have TP, this is... Ah, uh, okay. Instantly TP's in. I was about to say, if he doesn't have TP here, the game's done. That wave is just too important to miss. Nemesis gonna farm it up. 2-1-2, and two. god damn, he came back into the game well here. The good thing is, and like, uh, you already know this is going to be an absolute banger for P. Zhang because he has a Blitzcrank, but not only that, he has the Malphite for the knockup. When you have the best Yasuo in the world and you have a Malphite, like, you're screwed because he doesn't even, he doesn't struggle in games where he doesn't have a knockup. Good, doesn't pull the ultimate, has to try and space away from the cage. And Malphite, great pick into Jace. Jace, of course, no dash. Every... Oh, cage. I'm just using that double buffs to his advantage. And I doubt P. Zhang is even going to move up and look for it. He's just going to clear the wave and wait. Predator comes in. Cage comes in. Can't move into the cage, remember? Jukes out on the Rakan engage. Has the wind wall still. Remember, you can use that to try and block out on the Vagar's ult and abilities. And oh my god, a 1v3 in the mid lane. Gets the cannon. Holds the wind wall still, remember. Don't use your wind wall on cooldown. Think about when you're using it. He uses it here. Gets the gets the talent. Q. Ne oh, Nemesis just flashes it. The Blitzcrank hook lands. Hits the ultimate. Double kill for P. Zhang. Played it so patient. Enemy team just came in, made the mistakes. He cleans them up. 4 on 1 at 7 minutes in. Against the world's number one Yasuo. Yeah, uh, good luck with that. No flash. Beautiful job by the Blitzcrank. Good timer. If you're a support, if, if, not even if you're a support, mate. If you're anyone in the game, I don't play with chat on. But if you are playing with chat on and you're not just spamming timers in game with people's flash cooldowns, you see someone flash, type the flash cooldown, control A, control C, and then whenever you want to do it, hit enter, control V, and paste it. Just spam the timer, and you'll get all the timers, all the pro players in Hyla do. And if you know Nemesis has no flash for 12 minutes, spam ping Malphite, spam ping Blitzcrank. Hey, gank my lane, hurry up, gank my lane. No, no flash, no flash, type it. You'll get so many more ganks, and people will play towards you. And sometimes what I do, now this is illegal, I don't recommend it. I tell somebody there's no flash on my mid laner when I know he has flash, because they'll come to my lane and they'll gank me. He'll of course flash, but then I'll get the flash advantage then, and then I say, my bad, now has no flash regank. That's a little bit selfish, I get a lot more ganks, teammates can obviously AFK if, the, if, if something doesn't work out, but I'm a cheeky boy and that's how I play. Please hit the refillable potion, thank you. I'll fight no ultimate. Here comes the Talon. Win wall. Nice. Jukes out. Just gets out of that goddamn cage. You can see Nemesis. Of course, using the Leprechaun Vega skin. It's the best skin. Oh my god. Just baits it in. Is this going to be a double? Hits the ultimate. Now looking for it. Jukes out of the Rakan abilities. Do you see how he, he uses these waves better than anyone, right? He sits that wave up, jukes the abilities, and looks for the re-engage with them. Blitzcrank, good hook. Over the wall, surely. Double? Support gap. Honestly, support gap. That is so beautiful. These roams, that's how you need to be playing support. Oh, if that Q landed, I reckon he's going to try and flash in. He'll get the plates here. Now, a lot of Yasuos... Right now, they're like, okay, it's 5 kills to 10, 5 and 1. Let's start looking for montage plays. Let's start looking for the craziest goddamn things with this lead. Problem is, you're worth a bounty. If you keep the game pace as it is and not take absolutely ridiculous risks, you're going to win. Trust me, you're going to win. 
If you don't make any risks from here, you're going to win because, oh, Flash is in. Nemesis is predatoring. The E cooldown. Oh, the Jukes. Q goes wide. Lethal tempo. If you just play the game safe and play team fights with Malphite, it's a free dub. A lot of Yasuo's get too far ahead of themselves and they give their shutdown away by trying to be faker and make montages. The montage will happen, okay? Sometimes you just need to know when to hop in the bus and grab that free win. Go along for the ride. Drop the ego. It's hard to do, and obviously, like, as a streamer, I'd never do it. I could do it, but I don't. Um, because I'm, I'm, we go for the montages, but if you just, you know, a lower level player looking to make his way up the leaderboard, should be able to Q stack the tornado here. Yep. Sees the talent, holds off. Grabs a camp, and look how he positions. He's positioning his way back. Waits for the Harold. He's going to grab some of these plates up for himself. No rush. Thank you there very much. We have 3,000. Oh, yeah. 3,000 gold to our name. Malphite is fed as fuck. And I'm liking the way this game is going. We've got TP. Should be able to TP on the mid lane. Is he holding? Malphite has ult. He holds... He hold? Oh, there we go. He's on E onto the wave. Malphite ult. Can we get the knock up? Boom. Hey, a comet. I love that. That's actually so smart. If you run teleport with like a Malphite and he's anywhere, you just ult on top of him and then he sets you up. And this is lining up to just be an absolute goddamn stomp. I might, I know they had more than one matchup, so I might do another game after this if you want to stick around. I'll let this one play out, but this is looking like a free dub for P Zhang. And it seems like he's peeking. What the hell is tower? It seems like he's peeking around. I think with a good run, he could do rank one next season. I truly think he could rank one it just because the introduction of Yone was probably the best thing he could ever do for his, the best thing they could do for his um account. Oh, he win was behind him. Lethal tempo range too long. Doesn't use the ultimate, but picks up the Zaya. Five kills to 20. Malphite, careful, honey. Shoot Kit Nemo, I like it. That minion, what team is that minion? That minion is so fucked. Oh no. Imagine that minion got him killed. This random part. It was like he was parting straight to him and saying, Emi, Emi, Emi. I respect. There we go, Jace. Poor guy. Shield bow gets the zeal by the way. Doesn't finish usually doesn't finish it. He'll sit on the zeal, then go IE now. But he plays like it's just so it's so smooth, hey. Come on, get it. Still has shield bow up. Wait for it. Shield bow procs looking to go in. Malphite ultimate, no knock up, couldn't get it. Oh my god, Jace. No way, are we going for it? Q Lance, not going to use R. Waiting for the spacing, or Khan moving his way in. I don't know if I'd recommend this. Windmall in 3, 2, 1. This seems a little bit greedy, guys. He has ultimate, doesn't have NATO. Windmall. Can't stack the NATO up, so not worth the risk. Comes the Talon. Let's get into the brush. Any slows? He can't use the wall. Ah, here we go. Hits that ultimate. Use it on the side to dodge out and the Rakan engage. No shield bow, though. Plenty of sustain. Crits on crits on crits. Goes to the Q. <laughs> and that is going to be GG. I think they're going to FF the game, boys. And we're going to we're going to run into another matchup, I reckon, because that one was too goddamn quick. So smooth to watch, though.
Okay, second game, but from Nemesis' perspective, we got the exact same matchup. I'm interested to see yeah, how it goes. Yasuo with tempo. Little, um... Pieces Zank. Ah, shit. <laughs> this will be hard. Zank. Holy shit. He no okay, he knows, he knows he's against the number one Yasuo. This will be funny. I'll put links to both People their streams perfect, down below in the description. But I'm not asking them to be perfect. I'm asking them to be um, decent human beings that can use logic. Unfortunately, none of these can, so they're banned. <laughs> Twitch chat, absolutely hey, roasted. No, I'm not someone who literally just said a hi Mibis in his chat, yikes. Like, whenever someone gets a matchup against a player you review on, they just know I'm going to review it. And frankly, I don't care about you. Or your opinion. I'm expecting a very um, similar early game, guys. I'm expecting not much interaction. Playing towards the jungle. It's on Nemesis to survive the early. Nemesis he will make excel. a good king. See, he will excel in the mid game. Realizes it. I will treat everyone fairly. He will excel in the mid game when he can up. cage it up. It's over. Oh, what is this? A new, this is what is this skin? Nice, CSing. Not sure if I like that Yasuo skin. That that um the wind wall animation is spooky. I wonder. I, I really. Uh, I wonder why he didn't set E. E start. True. If you E start on Yo sorry Yasuo and then bait him in, the nemesis nemesis only starts Q. Love that. The way that the Yasuo's play kind of reminds me how you use the the E on Kiana to try and get that wave clearing gap closed to land your Qs. Beautiful bot lane. Wave is going to crash once again. And this is what you do against these champions that want to scale, okay? There is zero things Nemesis can do. He doesn't have the wave clear. He doesn't have the match. Yasuo completely dictates the early game and you play towards your jungler once again. Because I don't know how you die as Karma. Karma Caitlyn versus Jinx Nautilus. I I don't. Booked. Like I wish I knew, but I don't. Um and guys, if you is doomed regardless don't, of know, don't what know what you're doing or why you're doing it in your lanes, you need to like just pull back and have a think as you go into it. What am I doing in the early game? The first five to ten minutes of a game is so important, and it's where most low elo players go wrong. I feel you've got to get a good first solid five ten minutes to set yourself up. You can't get a good CS, you can't set the waves up, don't know what you're doing, or why you're doing it, or your win condition if you win late, you win early. CS. You're just not putting yourself in a That's good spot. This is good freeze by P Zang. Yes, that is a favorite position for him, and not this is gonna yeah. play mid lane now. Yep. You can't do anything. Ages, and it's not gonna be a good trade for Nemesis. Yasuo yeah, so passive shield, and he'll keep trying to set these freezes up and bring him out. Now Nemesis can freeze, but P Zhang has first move. So wave frozen, then move. Might be late to this fight though. Good flash, just absolutely would not be worth it. Comes back into the mid lane, and this is the problem with playing weak early game champions. You need to have a good mental. If you don't have a good mental, don't play weak early game champions. Simple as that. Don't play Cassidy. Don't play Vega. You can't handle getting behind, and you start panicking and FFing and flaming. Things. Play the goddamn earliest champ- early game- earliest early game champions you can, okay? Play some bullshit like Annie. I'm just trying to steamroll. I mean, Annie's scaling is not bad, but... Anyways. Wave shoved in, Q's are landed. That's what are the- CS's are looking like? We 31 at 5. TP is available he has here. Flash. He's not flashing. Could TP? Could TP? Could TP? Could TP? Could TP? There's a deep win. Oh. Just gonna sit it in the mid lane. Doesn't risk it. I thought you could TP deep on that one minion there and then maybe like flash. But we want consistency from Nemesis. Doesn't drop it. Cage, come in. Predator dropped. P Zang, no flash now. And that's very solid. Next five minutes, if they can get a regate, cage it up. Oh, At least something. But yeah. My team is losing so hard. It's kind of a hard game. 
Dude, just get the jungle to regank. Oh, no cage. He's gonna hit level six. Reversing champions like the Vega. Things like, what else? Like LeBlanc W, Vladimir W. Opinion, it's a 15 second goddamn cooldown, guys. If, if Vega doesn't have cage, he really doesn't have any options Jump in the lane. So you have to play aggressive into it for the next 15 seconds. And you need to know the cooldown. Eventually, you'll know it just by, like, if you've played the matchup enough, you'll start to understand it. But I know, like, a lot of people don't play the game enough to have, like, the intuition to know the cooldowns. So sometimes, man, just in the back of your head, just looking. They got cage early, 15 seconds. You don't max it till second, so it's going to be... Yasuo is really annoying to play against when the Yasuo player is good, which in this case it is. Yasuo is annoying to play against when the Yasuo player is good. I'm not going to argue with that logic. I will concur. Good statement. That could be the Yasuo Bottom TP. TP? Oh, it's Yasuo. It is. I completely forgot he's playing TP. Yeah. Shit. He almost never plays TP. It's really TP. only into this Vega I've seen him run it. Curious, hey? Because well, he knows Vega game. goes the, 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 the teleport and the Predator. Pretty confident to say the game is kind of over now. That's a nasty It's a mana. That sucks. Dude, I love- I, I really love Yasuo. I think it's a really good that champion really design. It's annoying to play against, but like, to see it in pro play, I love it. I love to see it in pro play, and I hope it still remains very strong. Like, I know I rally on Yasuo, like, or Yone, like, oh, it's so annoying to verse, but it's actually pretty pleasurable to watch in pro play. You can see a lot of outplays, so. I'm hoping it sticks around. My guess is it probably doesn't. They're gonna do something about these setups. That makes them so safe with this lethal at the moment. That's bad by me. My cage is awful. Dragon set up. There's a pink in that ward. We go long way. Good ward. Always need to be warding your own race. Cage. This guy has no flash, do you remember? Ugh. The dyna, look at the diner top side. And I just, like, I just... Both of these games, he's had such, like, the Yasuo's had such good R setups. And he finds the Viego. Please, Viego, don't be an idiot. Age lands, W, R. How does he not, I thought Nemesis would get the kill there. That was a misplay. Let's see how good this jungle is. Yeah, so it is. Q's. Absolute. Because, um, that's, phenom that's phenomenal. That's phenomenal. Nemesis. Because I cast a W before ulting. I need to ult first so the wind can block the ult. That's big. We gotta try and move something with this lead. Try and get a roam into the bot lane or something to stay on legit. To push the wave wave is horrendous. Is yeah. That's perfect. And this. Do not stay here, okay? You have to get the base in quickly. Wave is there. Uh, uh. Like, yes, your wave is horrendous, but even more horrendous is if you get pushed. If you stay, number one, if you die from overextending for Nautilus Roam, or if you just are stuck in lane with no mana, you're useless until you get the next back. A good player will abuse that mana pool. They'll force fights, they'll force things, and you're stuck with your simple yeah, then, 68 attack so damage auto. It's hard to watch, button. Don't watch it. How did that miss? One great tip I can give is, I used to do this a lot. I used to people watch. I find my, I, I found myself when I was behind, just watching other lanes being like, look at my bot lane. I was looking at them all the time and I'm gaining zero zilch. I'm just watching them lose going, what the fuck? And then I realized, dude, I'm paying attention so much less to my character and what I'm doing. I'm just people watching for no, absolute no reason. If I can't affect the play, if I can't influence it, then what the hell am I watching it for? Okay? Look at yourself, pay attention, think about what is next that you can do to win the game. Stop people watching it and being... It's demotivating. Like, it's just... Anyway, so that's one thing I, I noticed I was doing a lot in my Soliku games that I'm trying to fix. It's it's an ongoing habit. When you got a 0-5 yeah. bot lane, it's pretty tempting to watch them get killed 2v2 over and over again. Maybe he's in an interesting really spot. Place. It's going to shove into the Yasuo.
Oh, ready to proc. Here we go. No, there's no win more. What's our R do? Does it kill? Flash Q? Oh. Almost gets a solo bolo on the Yasuo. That's not bad. Here comes the Diner. May have to flash for flash. That's unlucky. Good TP timing, though. I'm so close to my item. I cannot run the base. I'm not sure what to do, though. It's too far away. I don't you can stay I one more wave. wave. I think I base and I don't TP. That's okay. The solution. If the Yasuo does... Oh, the Dino. She's just gonna go tax the wave. Oh yeah, she stacks the wave and put Harold down. There we go. And the tower is about to get destroyed. Lovely. This could be good. Predator with the, the Silas if she overstays. Here we go. Moving, moving, moving. Wait for it. Dino flashes. That's unfortunate. If she didn't have that. Here goes the plates. Jelly! Very good. Dude, these cages are so nice, actually. He's saying playing with fire here. He doesn't mind it, does he? He knows Nemesis is pretty low mana. Cage lands. Alts. Are you kidding me? Rookie error by Nemesis. That is why he was playing so aggressive. He can just W. Nemesis didn't have the correct timing on the wind wall. Wastes his huge ability on that. TP here. He has enough for the Everfrost and has TP. Caitlyn, nice. finally, they're bouncing back bot side. Good TP top if there's anyone around. No, not doable. Oh, this could be good. This could be good. Viego, Viego, Viego. Insta, Predator. Everfrost lands. Cage. Doesn't land. Oh, thank God. Gets the assist. Yeah. Finally. Some peace and quiet in the mid lane. It's crazy to see how annoying it is to verse this Yasuo. If you play this champion perfectly, it's actually very hard to abuse and kill. Problem is, 99% of, of the Yasuos... They just play, sure. it's such a complex I'm champion, they just play every scenario the incorrectly. The they use their win wall, they use all their shit, they don't position correct, they don't leave the minion wave behind them to try and E out, like there's so many errors they make. Okay. How are we looking? Careful. Could be good, nice. nice. And Bartlin is all of a sudden winning. What the hell? Who would have thought? Is Caitlyn really that OP? She just gets like one item and starts winning. Caitlyn is broken, yes. Here we go. Level 11. Yeah, I think Everfrost is better. Always. Where's the Predator? Holds it. I could have Predator after her, but I have no idea where people are. Everfrost is 100% better than Viger than Crown. It's not even close. So, okay, he doesn't like crown on Vega ever. I guess the, the Everfrost into cage setup is fine. Or cage into Everfrost, whatever you want. Nice trade. Is he a procs that? This guy, he's gonna sit. Oh, it's, he has a vamp. <laughs> I think he's getting tilted because I'm not a bad player. So he doesn't like. There's no free beat. kills. Guaranteed, I would have misstepped and died a hundred times in this matchup. I always talk about how Nemesis is very good into these type of matchups. He doesn't just give free kills and have bad decisions. Very hard to abuse him. Oh, I miss mid towers 1 HP. They could technically dive me so easily. Diana is mid, like... She's not mid, though. She's top. We need stopwatch, I reckon. If Dana at any point, if they any at any point want to kill him right now, they can. Dana just flash R and then Yasuo follow up. You're done. 
I guess you can flash. Oh, here we go. Good flash. Um, flash. Flash till 2050. Mid flash 2050. Damn it. Ooh, that was a little bit aggressive. Cage on ourselves. Trying to make our way out. Here comes the Dino. Are we able to get it? We do get the kill onto the Yasuo. Viego. Get a little bit of off. strife here. You can move around the this is fine. Really Bam. Boom. To, it's hard to place oh shit, one. Caitlyn. Yeah, you're okay, dead. Caitlyn, good exhaust. It's not going to be enough. She was stepped too oh, far forward. Caitlyn, as, long as, um, as long as this guy survives for good. He's up to yes. Death cap angle. This is a way but this matchup's getting played way better. It's not even the matchup's not even getting played better this game. Do you agree? It's simply the difference in having a team that can play. This the, the, the jungle matchup hasn't been as aggressive. He hasn't been caught, like, the Yasuo hasn't been able to find as many opportunities in the river and track the jump. It's as simple as that. That's just how League is sometimes, guys. You can play the matchup exactly the same, but the outcome is completely different. Unfortunately, it's a team game. You shouldn't see League as a team game, though. And I think that's where people get into trouble, where they see the game as a team game, so they think that they can start putting the blame onto others. I see League as an individual game. Um, like we all play solo queue. Like I used to play, pro like obviously, if you're a pro player, it's a team game. But in solo queue, it is an individual game. You're the only nice common denominator from game to game. game. You are the only I mean, person that can have influence can have on if you're climbing or not. You understand? Really Eventually, free, all of the outcomes of your teammates is going to be even. Fantastic. You're the only person that's making the so difference. And if you start thinking, oh, I always get unlucky teammates, game. I always get this. One drug in the way you're not. This early it's on. impossible, statistically. If you're playing 100 plus games, impossible. 30, 40 games, sure. They can be like statistical anomalies where you're just getting crap teammates over and over. If you play enough games, you can't. there's absolutely no way you can be complaining about bad teammates. I can't climb because of this or that. You're the reason. If you think anything else is the reason, no. you're probably never going to climb in League of Legends because you're not going to be able to... Uh, shifting the blame onto yourself and saying, hey, I'm the problem. I need to improve. I need to do this better. I need to influence the game. I need to do this. Yay, go. You're a naughty boy. All in. Ah. Uh. Please tell me Jinx dies. Oh. <clears throat> no flash Jinx. Green Eddie carries, man. Anyways. CS is 9 per minute, looking absolutely juicy. I don't know why the vet... Why is the Kennen so far up? Has to be something. Ah, the Diner. There you go. That's what I call a stupid fucking play. Holy shit. <laughs> this guy has Zonia. Okay. Oh, he's doing a Rift Maker setup. They're like Zonia and stuff against me. That's another needlessly large. I'm gonna get another rod. We're not doing anything for three more Get minutes. Get them big rods. Probably. But team can force barn. Because they deal a lot of damage to it, so they can do it super fast. Which is very scary. I think our comp is also... Diana has lethal tempo. Because we're allowing Viger pop off, Kate pop off, or Viego pop off. I don't see what Salas is going to value in the fight. Best Salas ult this game? I'm kind of like... Playing no vision right now. I don't even care. Probably put yeah. Put please put a water after this. Jesus I'm Christ. just playing no vision mode. Oh. Everfrost. We could. Ki oh shit. This guy has tank set up. That play right there. Loses you games. Yeah, um, well, guys, I had to play with no vision. I don't know what the point is. I can either flip a bot play or just not. He didn't have to play with no vision. And this play mental, play. I get this mental a lot of times. Dude, you didn't need to play no vision there. He knew the high chance, or not even high chance. It's it was impossible that they were flanking behind. I mean, she's gonna survive because of karma. But Imagine like, he's there. Imagine he just played back on the wave, has TP. Obviously, the fight would have been different, but still. 
That's all I want you can't say. get in the mindset of, oh, oh I needed to do that expression play. I needed to do a very low risk, like this karma is uh, a high risk, low reward oh, play. For Be patient. Wait for, for it. Hindsight is here to say, oh, I need to do this. You didn't. Think about it. And he knew in his head that that was the risk. You can tell by the way he's saying. He's like, I'm doing no vision. I don't care. I'm no vision style. Had the ward. Knew the diner could be flanking from behind because he had no vision. Just got to calm it down. Need to relax. Can't be mad at the teammates because they're behind. Good League of Legends mental note to have that. All the people do collector, Caitlyn, now, yeah. It's a joke. <laughs> collector, Caitlyn. Seen a lot of these... I'm seeing this lethality Caitlyn with Duskblade popping up in my games. It's pissing me off over the... Whatever YouTube or streamer's been doing this crap. Please, man. Please. Shit. I somehow missed it. Death cap, 400. What's nice? This TP. Atlas cannot beat the Yasa. It's no shot. Is your chance. TP's coming in. Zang blows the flash. You gotta be careful because the Yasuo E2 counts as a knockup. Zang caught here. Nemesis. I missed way too much shit. I missed way too much. Unfortunately, the Silas got it too. That was bad. I don't think he played well. I think we just played like shit. Like me especially. I missed way too much. Oh no. Which I shouldn't have missed. Both dead probably. Oh, Karma coming. Dude, this Dyna setup is not. Oh, yes! Karma clutched it again. Bring her in. Cage, 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 cage. Cage. Caitlyn, we have Everfrost. There we go. Now we have the D cap. This looks like a spicy game. I like it. 14 kills to 20, but it feels like they're so far behind. It's objectively, not objectively, ob objectives I'm behind. Nah, I'm really trolling. We need to get soul. Oh, this is soul fight. Let's go. They get this game's one, surely, yes? They can't contest the soul. It's pretty much ours. Cage to stop any type of steals. Oh my god. This karma is playing well. Ocean Soul. D cap. Caitlyn. Scaling's fine. Probably D cap void, let's see. Okay, I got some AP now. A little bit more. 656. Of course, you guys know, right? Stole away all of our AP on mages. They gave us more flat pen, they gave us more survivability. I'm fine with it for now. AP is not always more damage. Flat pen sometimes is more. Oh, guys. Why is no one checking Nash? Guys, they do a fast Nash. Oh, God. I'm going to call it. It's gone. That's depressing. Got to start looking for the fight. 30 seconds now. 25 minutes in. Silas gets the bot lane out. That's not that bad. If they get mid lane tower too. That's whatever. I think it's almost three items. So is more word than barn. We're probably already based, but sure. Wonder why we keep this sweeper and we don't go the blue trinket. I feel like from 20 minutes I'd get blue trinket on on Vega to try and stop out from those type of steals because you just can't contest a lot of the vision. Killed, but he's gonna die. Hard shove top lane wave. Look for the Which tower. No objective bounties on. Vega, uh, uh, sorry, Viego should look to wrap around if anyone defends this. This is the play. Do you see this on the map? Simple macro like this, a lot of players don't do. Like, they can still be hovering. But he's gonna look for the mid lane outer wrap. No TP for 60, by the way. Tower is dropped. TP is wasted. This could be very good. Diner engage. Oh my god. 
Okay, well. Hey, we tried. They walked right into her. Makes no sense. This Dino build is absolutely so, so tanky, gonna and yet it's going to put so much oh, out of the lethal. throwing the game, man. Sorry. It's all good, man. Oh my god, the whole team's wiped. Cage. Everfrost QR kills Jinx. But you just can't get into the range, can you? Stop throwing the game. FTP. A flash. We have Elder Fight coming up in three minutes. Here we go. Predator. This could be very good. Looking for the flank behind. All eyes on if he can get the Jinx. He's going to get a long way. Good flash, but oh, I like the way this Karma is playing. There you go. Jinx. Absolutely annihilated. Everfrost onto the Nort. Nautilus will be dead. Oh. Okay, Couldn't do anything about that. There. Mechanically, oh, it's good, me. I'm impressed. Nice. You can't do anything about that without an hourglass, right? Nautilus R and then Yasuo ult. I just realized, dude, this comp is so good for the Yas. Dyna 1v1. Fantastic. This Dyna is a monster. Never use Hourglass right, against guys. Caitlyn like that. Twitch at experts. Yep. Twitch at experts. Look at the Twitch chat. Please don't destroy you. Zonia help me there. Please elaborate. <laughs> you cannot press Zonia if you're stunned. And I was stunned the whole time. So in what world would Zonia help me? Right. Good. Glad we have As you. a streamer, you never... Nice. Like, he's taking the piss out of the chat, but, like... You realize pretty early on that the average viewer is the average... Oh, probably average rank like of him. league, which is, like, silver. Don't buy Zonia. So you're getting flamed and giving advice from silver players. It's and as Nemesis, as, like, a, a literal Korean challenger, like... <laughs> just listen to the but Twitch chat, the buddy. They know right best. Then. I'm going with Fancy. They know best. They would probably be able to match you in lane, Kappa. Alright, we shove through. 250 farm, 9 CS per minute. We're looking pretty good. Get this blue buff up. Have the void stuff completed. W does 1k damage flat. Please. One minute till Elder Fight. Let's go. Always through mid. Set object set, set, set the wards up above the objectives. Then Ocean look to move in. Perfect vision here. Ocean Souls the worst in the game. Ocean Souls the worst soul in the game. Cloud would be so good against this. Oh, Ocean Soul worse in the game. To be honest, the new Dragon Souls are absolutely stacked. Those two want absolutely racked. Contest the mid lane wave. This is exactly how you have to play it. You need a ward over that wall. You need a ward over that wall. Somebody. Twenty seconds until. Oh my god. Win wall. He's trying to juke it. Still has the art. Does Pizang have a GA? Oh god. This is gonna be good. Cage? Yes. Yes. Oh god, oh god. Can't find anything. God, that was such an awkward fight. He wasn't even able to get his ultimate off. That win more. A little bit awkward. Cage. Boom, dead. TP. TP? Base. What's the move? He stays, he stays, he stays. They don't go for the end, but they know he didn't recall, right? So now they're gonna get Elder. He's gonna sit and wait. Has the Predator. Oh god. Oh god. Run. Oh no. Wait, could just QR. Oh no. Oh no. That sucks. Chicken they're gonna get the Elder, and they're gonna get the Baron, and then they're gonna Siege. <sighs> I should've hit in different bush. I didn't expect them to come from blue side area. Alright, no sucks. one can... Oh there. my god, Silas just TP'd. Oh god. Hmm. Oh my god, he's on vision too. I kinda of expect them to come from left side, not right side. Zonia was helping survive that. Ah, uh, don't think so. 
What do you guys reckon? Do you reckon the Zonyas would have... I, I do think having a stopwatch would help. You're probably still going to die, but being able to... Being... Oh, I don't know. With no flash... I think without the Zonyas, you're stuffed. It is true. But also, he needs raw damage. I don't know. No idea. Yeah, I don't think we're beating Elder, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. Well, that's not okay. We rolled the shit soul. We rolled the butter soul again with Bruin. The garbage fucking soul. 4v5 defense against Baron Elder. I think it's done. Let's see how it gets played. Look, mortal we're going to need to... That's like nothing. We'll expect way more with the soul that you have. Oh, hooked. Goodbye. Life is over. Can't win anyway. Doesn't matter. They can just go forward, press wind while it's over. That's going to be GG. That's it, boys. That's the review today. Both perspectives. Poor Nemesis. A little bit tilted. Come here, buddy. That's just the way League of Legends, that's just how it is sometimes, boys. You gotta queue up. Keep that mental strong. But well, that's it for today's video, boys. Until next time, I will catch you all later. Have a good one. Peace.